Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted. We're not even gonna get into that, but you guys know that I've just moved and I've been settling into my new apartment. Yes, this is Bash right here sleeping. Yeah, I just got out the shower. I'm in my jammy jams. Don't have any nails, which is so unlike me, but I'm getting my nails on tomorrow. So don't come for me. I moved, I think like two months ago and I've been settling in, getting furniture. I still have a long way to go, but if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen a couple sneak peeks of my apartment. I did post a little apartment tour, so you guys saw that, but that was before I moved in. We don't need to get into the details. Yes, I've been lazy on YouTube. Sorry. Just follow me on Instagram to keep up with me, but I will try. I know I keep saying it, but I'm gonna try. Um, it's my New Year's resolution, so. Okay, this is gonna be super quick because it's messy. Um, but that's my bedroom right there. And then we have a huge TV. Look at that. Everything's still under construction, you guys. Big mirror. Big comfy couch. It's really, really big. I'll give you guys all the details later when everything comes in, but right now, um, so nice. Look, you guys. Wow. So this is when you enter my room. Um, cute little slippers. Like I said, I just showered, so I'm hella comfy. But this is basically an overview. I'm telling you guys, I don't have like furniture like that yet. You guys know that my whole balcony is a panoramic view of the city. I guess I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. I have it closed because it's dark right now but yeah it's it's some motherfucking vibe and then i have two closets i wanted a walk-in closet but i compromised because the other bedroom has a bathtub and i i cannot do bathtubs i like stand-up showers so this is like a quick view of the bathroom i guess let me turn the light on very nice i have a lot of products can you guys see like i need to do i need to fill you guys in on so many updates on my skincare my makeup routine just a lot and then the shower i just finished taking a shower oh my god there's like lotion and stuff everywhere so ignore that and then just the toilet um these are some wolford leggings um that i just washed but i have to hang dry them so i just have them hanging there and then i have this little shelf full of towels some candles extra paper towels febreze spray plugins and then like my makeup my skincare more skincare um some of my favorite lotions and some towels i don't know who i think i am I'm a fucking hotel with the wrapped up towels but yeah, so that's the bathroom. But yeah, here is my bed. Um, it's a king size bed. This room is huge. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but probably not because I don't. I don't know. Actually, you can because this is a king bed, and then like there's so much room. But look at this area is like super empty. I just have this old thing from my old vanity, which I threw away my old vanity because. I was just over it. I'm looking to order like a custom one or something like that. But yeah, I just have some laundry, some filming equipment, some cute slippers. But yeah, I have this big mirror from Ikea. This is a 58 inch TV, I believe, that's mounted. And then this is like my old dresser from my old place. And then I just have, like I said, the roses, a little money tree, some of my little crystals and like a cute little seashell candles of course but yeah i want to do like a rug here obviously and then probably i don't know if i want to get like some alex drawers for like right here or if i should just because i still have some plants and stuff in storage from my old apartment so i might do like the plants here or actually maybe the plant there by the door because there's like room by the door and then some Alex Shores. I don't know, you guys give me your 
opinions. So I have something special to share with you. You guys obviously know about Dossier. It is a brand that I share with you all the time and they are known for being the best at replicating designer perfume and selling them at super affordable prices. But today I wanted to share something a little bit different because Dossier actually came out with their own signature scents. I wanted to unbox them with you guys and smell them and review them for you. So let's get started. So first of all, the packaging is a little bit different. It's orange and it says Dossier Originals on it. So I have three scents right here. I'm gonna open the first one. And by the way, these are all unisex scents. So I'm really, really excited to see what they smell like. This one is called Sunny Velveteer and Neroli. So yeah, it just says that it's woody and floral. It's giving me like musky. It's kind of reminding me of, so this is perfect, like putting kind of like the feminine and masculine scent together. I can smell the woodiness and the musk first. And then the floral notes kind of kick in after. I really like that one. So this next one is called Fiery Leather and Rhubarb. Ooh, that's an interesting name. It says this bold scent builds off each ingredient to deliver a balance of masculine leather and feminine florals. So this one has a really, to me, this has a really woodsy smell. I can definitely like smell the notes of the ambery and green, rhubarb, melon, black leather. This is giving me very much like you're in a fancy car vibe. It's like a super, super nice, nice car. And oh, the longer it lingers, this smells like a sexy man to me, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, y'all, we have one more of the genderless collection. And this is caramelized lavender and hazelnut. Caramelized lavender and hazelnut. That's a really nice, like, that sounds nice. So I wonder if this one's a little more girly. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this one's definitely more girly. Mmm. I really like this one. I think this one is my favorite. It definitely smells exactly like the name. So that was the genderless collection from Dossier, their own scents finally. You guys can check out the link in the description to purchase these and hopefully my review helped you pick out the one you wanna try first. As always, you are guaranteed your money back if you don't like the scent, but I'm sure you're gonna love these. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing Dossier's new genderless collection with me. Some new shit, I don't wanna do it